Hi, today we're going to speak about the most important things that you should know before owning a French Bulldog. This is my assistant Coco, she's going to help me with the video today. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it and I hope you're going to find something interesting from it. The most important things that I, in my opinion, uh, think that they are worth consider before buying a French Bulldog is to locate where you are. So basically, number one is weather. Hot weather can be very critical for French Bulldog. It can be deadly sometimes for French Bulldog. In order for you to avoid that, um, you should walk your dogs early in the morning before the sun gets very very hot and late at night when the sun is already um, down. So I give them a lunch break as well. I give them uh, a break between, uh, you know, uh, the morning and evening time, but it's only to go for a toilet. So they go to a toilet and they run back home. Well, I'm blessed to be living in a private house where I have my own backyard. So I only open the door for them. They go, they do their deals, and if they're too hot, they go back. Mm -hmm. The things that I'm sharing with you today in this video are based on my personal uh, knowledge, my personal experience with them. Since I've been breeding French Bulldog for over eight years now, and I'm having uh, a lot of them, and I've had a lot of them in the past. So uh, bear with me, this is my first video today and my assistant is kind of uh, lazy today because of the hot weather that we're living in as well. So uh, as I mentioned, hot weather can be very very dangerous for French Bulldogs. Because of this short muzzle that they have, they can have a breathing problem and they can have uh, uh, other uh, problems that we're going to talk about in this video as well. So uh, cold weather as well is going to be very very bad for French Bulldogs. So basically, uh, what I noticed uh, from my own experience with my French Bulldogs that uh, in a cold weather as well, I live in a country where it snows a lot in winter time. So uh, I avoid walking them on snow, you know, or I shovel the snow uh, constantly in order for them to go like uh, on a, um, you know, grass or dirt or whatever, but not snow or light snow. Uh, icy roads can be also very um, bad for them. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, basically what I noticed uh, from my own experience with my own dogs that they can't stand still uh, on an icy or a cold road. They, they whine sometimes, some of my dogs do whine because they don't understand what's happening, where the pain coming from, but it's actually from the cold ground. So they can't keep their paws on the ground, they tend to raise it and I have a solution for that. I have basically two solutions for that. For a shaky dog in winter time, which you don't want to see basically, and, and shaky dog can, can not be only from the cold weather, a stressed dog can shake as well. But we're talking about the cold weather right now. So uh, to avoid the shaky dog, you can just give them a winter jacket. You can buy it from any pet shop. You can get the right size for them. Uh, the material that gets uh, comfortable for their skin uh, that doesn't uh, cause any allergic stuff, you know? Uh, because they have uh, a short hair, as you understand. So they're not like Huskies. They're not like German Shepherd, where they have a long hair to, um, you know, heat themselves. Well, they tend to get colder uh, much faster than other breeds. So in order for you to avoid that, a jacket, a winter jacket for your dog can be very comfy, very cozy and nice for them. Uh, well, the other solution for their paws is going to be winter boots, which is also very effective. Well, uh, um, at the beginning it might be not the best for them, uh, some of them might uh, not uh, get used to it very fast, but okay, find your spot. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, she found her spot, okay, she found her spot. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Okay, so, f f oh, back to the subject, um, winter boots. Winter boots, you can also buy them from pet shop. You can get the right size for your dog in order for them to be comfortable, uh, for them to enjoy the winter walk. And, uh, well, uh, by time, exercise, they will get used to it and they will love it and they will appreciate it much more. Um, so yeah, you can do that as well. So uh, the things that I mentioned earlier in this video about the short muscles that they have, it comes with other like kind of uh, problems, which is uh, their wrinkles. Um, their wrinkles, uh, uh, as you understand, all bulldogs, most bulldogs, they have it. Well, in my case in here with my baby Coco, um, with my assistant for the day, uh, she have these beautiful wrinkles uh, above their nose and under the eyes. Well, in order for you not to get infection, uh, I mean, in order for your dog not to get infection in these areas, you should take care of that. Wipe their wrinkles uh, uh, on a regular basis. Uh, 
and uh, 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 in order for you to avoid that you should uh, as I mentioned do it on a regular basis so um, wiping their wrinkles is very critical uh, because of the hot weather because of some diets uh, because of a lack of some vitamins uh, you know their eyes can get all that uh, liquidy uh, tears and it, it go roll down these wrinkles and they leave marks if you don't uh, uh, wipe it on a regular basis well um, in the future we're gonna talk about uh, I'm gonna show you a tutorial video in the future how to care for uh, wrinkles ears and nose for French Bulldog what product to use what product I see the best for my French Bulldogs and tend to work the best uh, and I think it's gonna be the same for your French Bulldog so um, wait for that um, but for now we're gonna speak more we're gonna talk about these bad ears these standing bad ears since I mean, since uh, a French Bulldog, they are short to the ground, so they, when they go zoomies, you know, we all know uh, how French Bulldog can get very nice with their zoomies, but anyway, when they get zoomies, and they go fast, and they go run, chasing each other, playing with each other, uh, going for the stick, for that ball that you're giving them, so uh, these bad ears tend to get very dirty from the inside, and can also get an infection if you don't clean them on a regular basis, and I'm gonna show you later on how to do that, uh, in the right way in order for her to be comfortable and what product to use so um, stay tuned for that and um, well last but not least with this short muzzle as well it comes one last problem which is a dry nose and can get cracked as well well it depends on the diet that you're giving your dog okay so um, a wet diet uh, can get uh, their nose uh, uh, very dry if you don't wipe it after food so in order for you not to get these dry nose, cracked nose that you see on uh, most of uh, uh, you know, French Bulldogs, uh, you need to, to care for that. There are some products over the internet, you know, you can get them online, but uh, I prefer, um, you know, different type of products and we're going to talk about it. It depends where you're located in the world. So, uh, well, yes, there is a worldwide shipping, but anyway. Uh, we're talking we're gonna talk about that later but for this nose for this lovely lovely nose not to get dry you need to wipe it after food especially if you give them a, a, a wet diet uh, for your dogs but if they eat kibble dry kibble food well it tends to be like uh, more clean uh, than uh, uh, other diets like a, a raw diet or a wet diet like a mm, you know the cans that you buy from the pet shop so um, this uh, uh, in my opinion the things that you should consider about French Bulldog well their coat is very very short and they uh, tend to be sometimes a skin problem on, on French Bulldogs as well so you also need to consider that uh, in mind so uh, there are some products I'm gonna share with you as well uh, in the future um, how to care for their skin how to care for their uh, uh, coat uh, to be shiny to be clean and they shed they shed a lot sometimes so we're gonna talk about that later but these are the things that you should consider for now and um, last but not least snoring they snore a lot especially when they sleep so when they sleep they get uh, this um, I mean especially if you have more than one French Bulldog you're gonna hear a symphony at night it's, it's for me like a music to my ears you know sometimes if I don't hear it at night I feel something weird about it and uh, some of my dogs sleep with me in the bed uh, so yeah I, I, I got used to it uh, I have dogs that snore louder than the others and uh, I have a solution for that well uh, you're gonna have a solution as well for, for, for your dogs but uh, for now uh, snoring problems yeah so with each and every French Bulldog comes a snoring problem especially at night time especially when they uh, tend to uh, sleep um, the French Bulldog they are very sensitive dogs as well so you, if you have a kind of work if you do work if you go if you have a job and you leave them alone uh, at how uh, at home um, you might kind of find your dog uh, depressed a bit uh, which is a big fact for French Bulldog they are very sensitive they are very attached to their owner so uh, you better have a, a nanny you better have some family member to come check on them or if you have time uh, a lunch break or something if you're not far away from your home you just go and visit your dog check on your dog well Mm, uh, as well as uh, a camera inside of your house can be uh, uh, helpful well I, I, I do have uh, a camera well in, in case I'm out I, I just keep an eye on them all the time so basically I never leave them without uh, being watched um, it's, it's, I, I feel more comfortable I feel more safe when I when I always like uh, 
uh, keep tracking my dogs, whether it's a camera or whether when they are outside. I never leave them outside basically without uh, uh, me being with them. I never do that. Um, who knows what might happen. So, uh, last but not least, uh, farting. Farting for a French Bulldog is also a common thing. They can fart loud, they can fart very ugly, nasty fart that it smells and it can, it can, it can be like a nuclear fart, you know. Uh, that's what I call it, a nuclear fart for French Bulldogs. And it depends on the diet, of course. It depends what you give your French Bulldog, how do you feed them, what do you feed them. Is it a raw diet? Uh, again, is it a kibble? Is it a, a, a nutrition food? Is it, you know, a, a cooked food? Uh, is it a prepared food companies or, or, or so and so? So uh, these are the things that I considered before, uh, well, uh, before buying a, a puppy or a French Bulldog basically. So um, I hope this video was uh, interesting, I hope this video uh, was helpful for you and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.